I've always assumed that it's something that retired people do. Um, I think there's this popular conception really of an allotment holder as somebody probably in their 60s and 70s but no it's true I mean there are a lot of families here um, so a lot of kids are involved which I think is wonderful because you really want to encourage the next generation to be interested in growing so yeah there's a lot of diversity on this particular site I think. Grew up in um, with my family um, uh, back back in Jamaica and um, we were out in the country, we lived out in the country, so, you know, we, we grew our own crops and food and everything, everything, everything was homegrown. There's something so special about working on the land, it's, you know, like, I can remember, you know, when I was like four years of age, something like that, crawling around in the, in the soil and my knees was in it and my hands was in it and you know I could pick it up and I don't know if I was eating it or what but I could smell it and it's, a, it's like a intoxicating smell in the soil that makes you you know and I'm I'm so connected with the soil now I'm really you know I love it I, I can even in the summer when it's you know, you get to a certain temperature. I can walk barefoot in this soil and, and feel really sort of connected to it. So I love it. I really do. I'm probably here more than my, ha my home when the weather is applicable. Like, I'd rather be sat down here rather than sat in my house if I've got any free time. So it's like, I'm not always coming down and working. I'll come down, I'll feed the chickens, I'll hang out, I'll watch the land, see what everything's doing. But uh, for the first year, it was a bit lonely, like, do you know what I mean? Like, we didn't have that many neighbours. And then over the years, all of the people who've turned up have ended up being our best mates. Like, yeah, everyone who's around here just is so nice. You, like, you want to be part of the community. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, try and give a bit back when I can, like, because it's good, it's wholesome. It is outdoors, it is growing stuff, it's uh, being as sustainable as I can in terms of my own, the food I consume. Um, it's meeting people. It's, it is uh, physical and mental health, you know, and that has really come home to us, hasn't it, over the last two years in terms of being able to get out. You know, the allotment was a huge godsend during, for me during the first lockdown, as it has been for many other people. rented the allotment since 2008 um, and I think it's a number of factors. I'm diabetic so it's good for my health um, and also to grow your own food I'm, I know I'm getting better quality food. Um, it's exercise, um, keeps me fit, vaguely fit so or relatively fit so um, so that, that's and also it's just nice sort of growing, taking a, a seed, growing it, you know seeing it grow into into a plant, you know, into a fruit, vegetable. I, I like to um, be away from the hustle and bustle and just, you know, I don't like too much going on in my head, uh, the busyness and the noisiness of, of people and like, you know, I just like the, the peace and the calm that the allotment gives to me each time, you know, it never fails me. I always feel 100% better. My mood, like my missus says, oh, your mood's changed, like when I've come back from the allotment. And it's just, just that, uh, you know, I just want to get on there as much as I possibly can and do, if I do what I've got in my head and get it, I feel like, <sighs> I just feel great, I feel relaxed and yeah, yeah.
with sadness, you look at plots that have been, you know, left obviously abandoned. People take them on, uh, I think, in a fit of enthusiasm, and then realise after a month or two that it's actually quite hard work. I've got a book at home called The Half Hour Allotment, which is a bit misleading because it's half half an hour a day, and I think people probably hope that it's half an hour a week. So th there is sort of coming and going here, but. No, I think the only the only significant difference maybe is the is the the kind of the the average profile, the age profile of, of allotment holders maybe has gone down. So, like I was saying earlier, I think there are younger people here, which is nice. There is a community here, I would say. Um, uh, not everybody engages, but that's uh, what happens in communities. Um, there's probably about a dozen or so of us that usually meet on a Sunday morning once a month to do a bit of general tidying up and having a chat and then of course your immediate neighbours are a smaller community which you obviously get on with you know I listen to Jenny over here playing her cornet I chat to my neighbours about this that and the other so yeah it's very important it's a social activity as well as a you know a technical digging type activity I think it's a mixture of mental and physical. It's, I mean, I sometimes write poetry, do like prose poetry about the ideas, things I see on this lot, like the foxes, the badgers, you know, um, growing things. Um, and also it's just physical sort of coming up and, you know, physically doing a lot of digging or whatever. Um, so it's a combination, you know. And I also, I sort of photograph it sometimes, so document it. So it's a mix. They should teach, you know, teach allotment um, training in schools and things like that. You know, kids are supposed to know, have some idea of where everything comes from that they put in their mouth, in their body, like, you know, so show them that there's a choice, there's a uh, vegetarian, vegan, whatever, you know, um, maybe they should like bring it all together and have something in school for kids from, from their five-year-olds, you know, um, then it give them another aspect of looking at things for, you know, yeah, that's, that's about it, I guess, I, I can't say no more.